Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and today we're going to be talking about what is the difference between a school bus and a passenger bus. So, there are a pretty big difference. One of the commonalities is that the cargo that you're transporting. The cargo is somebody who speaks, breathes, talks, and has a heart. And those are uh, people cargo, the most valuable cargo that you're ever going to transport no matter what you're driving in the, in the whole world, simply because everyone is people and we're all family here, right? So that being said, we're, today we're going to be talking about the difference between the school bus and a passenger bus. So the first thing that you do have to understand that, that there are two different things. You do have to decide which way you want to go. So if you want to go for the school bus, that means that you can transport kids to and from school or any kind of school activities. Those buses are usually yellow. Most of those people understand what's going on there, right? Uh, when it comes to a passenger bus, that means that you could drive anybody else in the world but you cannot drive kids going to and from school or to different school activities. They're two different things. The main reason is you have to understand uh, the di there's extra steps when it comes to the school bus portion itself because you can actually stop traffic with the stop, with the stop, uh, stop sign and stop arm. You have to know how to drop kids off and pick them up as well. So those are going to be the main two differences. So if you're looking just to transport people, if you're looking for, to drive a bus and want to make as much money as possible, then I definitely recommend going for the passenger by itself because when it comes to the school bus, yes, you are going to be dealing with kids and they can be cute, but on the opposite side of that coin, they can't and they can also be pretty angry, especially when they're teenagers, right? And also the thing you have to understand is most of the time school bus drivers get paid anywhere from four to six hours per day because if you think about it, you're going to get paid two to three hours to pick up the kids and, and drop them off at school and then two to three hours to drop them off back at home. Um, so it's not a full day thing, it's not really a full time job as well, um, but it does pay pretty well for the amount of time that you're driving. So it all depends on what your kind of lifestyle uh, you are looking for. If you want to make the big, big bucks when it comes to driving buses, go for the passenger buses. The passenger buses are places like um, Greyhound and Coach, just to give you some examples, or any kind of limousine companies that have the big party buses. Those are all different examples of the, the vehicles itself. So when it comes to how, what if you want to drive everything? I'm going to give you the blueprint right now. So if you want to drive any kind of vehicle when it comes to driving passengers, you're going to want to follow the steps. One, you're going to have to get your CDL permit. To get your permit, you have to pass a few different tests. You're going to have to pass general knowledge. You're going to have to pass air brakes. You're going to have to pass passenger endorsement. And you're also going to have to pass school bus endorsement. So that's four different tests there. You are going to make sure that you have to go through all the training needed because now with this new rules, you have to go to a certified uh, training provider, which we are here at Driving Academy. So if you just want to give us a call now, you can 908-525-3609. And then after you go to that training provider and we certify you, we give you our blessing, and then you're ready to move on to the road test itself. Now the road test will be tested on an actual school bus because the school bus supersedes the passenger. Because like I said, the biggest difference when it comes to the school bus and the passenger uh, road test itself is just one thing, and that comes on the road. So the road test is going to start off with an inspection. That, al that alone takes about an hour to complete, hour to hour and a half. Second part of the test is all about parking the bus up to six different ways. And then the third part of the test is actually driving the bus on the road itself. So when it comes to driving the bus, you're going to do everything that a normal car or a normal, or a normal truck would do on the road test. But you're going to be adding how do you interact with railroad crossings, right? So there's a very specific way on how to do that in a bus. If you want to find out more on that, you have to sign up as a student here. Give us a call, 908-525-3609. And then the second thing is you have to know how to pick up students and drop students off because, like I said, in a school bus itself, you're going to have to make sure that you understand how to handle traffic and how to handle all the different rules that you have to go through. So if busing is something that you are interested, we're here to help you out. We're open up seven days a week, which means we're going to work around any kind of train schedule that you do need. We offer payment plans. All you need is $500 down to get started. Then we can work out a payment plan for the rest. So give us a call at 908-525-3609 or check out our virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, that's cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks and have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.